What is good hunters? Welcome back to another video. With the release of Africa DLC, we got this new hiker mode and I think it's a game changer for some, or if not many. We have been hearing a lot of hunters from the community voice their opinions and saying, hey, we want this game to be a bit more accessible. I got a job, I work crazy hours, I got kids, I want to be able to jump on and jump off. I don't want to be bogged down by game mechanics. I don't want to be hunting for half an hour and not seeing animals. And I believe the devs have listened and they have delivered. Hiker mode is exactly what I believe casual players need. And I'm so happy that it's been added to the game and it's a game changer. What do we know about this mood? Well, first off, we know that animal senses are the lowest. That, does, that doesn't mean that they won't spook, but you have a very low chance of spooking them. You still gotta be careful, but you can get pretty close. I would say 100 meters or less, depending how you play, and you won't have a problem at all. Animal behavior has been toned down. You would notice that they operate differently. If they do get alert, they come out of alert status very quickly and they go back to what they're doing. Some animals even start resting, you know, in front of you. So you can see how appealing this might be for a lot of players. Not being frustrated with the ups and downs of spooking animals. We know that photo mood has gotten a, a longer range of 150 meters. Now you can take photos at your leisure now at a longer distance. You can use photo mode while you're hunting to check animals that are behind hills, ridges, if that's the way you want to play. But overall, this mood is amazing. I've tried it myself and I've enjoyed every moment I'm in it. It's not my preferred way of playing, but I really wanted to see what it had to offer. And I'm very, very happy to say that as new players, I think you guys will love it. I think it's it has made Way of the Hunter more accessible. And I can see a lot of new hunters gravitating to that. And again, even if you're a hardcore player, give Hiker a chance. You might just like it. I definitely like the way it feels. It feels very relaxed. You're not worried too much about spooking, about certain mechanics. And you can really herd manage at your leisure now. Herds are approachable in a very respectable manner and I believe this is great for the game going forward. I believe Tika Moon Plains on, on a whole feels good. I love the decisions that they have made with the way the animals operate. The AI is a lot more improved. The animals have become smarter on many levels and this is a good look for the game going forward. And being able to cater to hardcore and casual players, players who probably have, who has never hunted in their life, or maybe it's the first time playing a game like this. This mood has really set the standard here and I feel it's going to usher in a lot of new players. I hope that's the case and for people to really fall in love with Way of the Hunter because it's highly underrated and I know it's a matter of time before more players get exposed to it. So let me know in the comments if you play on Hiker, if you have ever decided to even try it, leave your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching and thank you for listening.